Welcome to the future. My name is Mike from VR the Future. Today we're going to jump right into how to stitch VR videos shot with the Kodak PixPro 360 camera. So let's go right into it. I'll have a link in the description for the software download. We're going to navigate to PixPro software and PixPro SP360 4K stitch software. Depending on whether you're on a Mac or PC, click the corresponding download button. Download the user manual if you want to, but no one reads those. So once you download it, install it, go through all the good stuff. We're going to open up the app PixPro 360 Stitch. It's a really simple interface. You have Project A, Project B, and the preview window. Now, once you have the PixPro 360 Stitch open, navigate to your raw footage that you shot with the Kodak PixPro camera. Find any clip will do, really. So I'm going to open a shot of the Liberty Bell. All you do is take your front-facing camera first. This is obviously that. We'll take that and drop it into Project A. It'll give you this little caution sign like, hey, where's the other piece? All you have to do is go now to Camera B, which I've organized. And you simply click the back facing camera and drop it in to Project B. It'll give you the green check mark that everything looks good, everything is good to go. Hit OK. And now it will give you a somewhat final product of a stitched video, completely scrollable, um, and you can scrub through the video. You can't play back very smoothly on here, but if you click and scrub through the timeline, it'll give you a pretty good idea. Calibration now is one thing that'll help your videos out a lot. As you notice, there's a little bit of a stitched line, and if your subject is on that line, then you'll wanna go into calibration, adjust the pan or the tilt or distance. I find that just minor adjustments in each one will give you a pretty good result. So once you mess with that, hit OK. And if you're happy with it, um, I just took a little bit of time. I could have spent more time on the stitch. But for this purpose, let's say we like it. And now we're going to export it. You choose Browse. Click where you want to save it. In my case, I'll save it next to Darth Vader. Hit OK. Um, the output size we're going to keep at maximum because you don't want anything less than um, 3840 by 1920. Click the audio track that you want. Um, I usually keep it on one. And then you're almost ready to go. So now if you open it in Windows Media Player or a typical video viewer, it'll play as this unfolded equi rectangular video. So that's not exactly what we want. So I'll have a link for this in the description. A GoPro VR player works perfectly so far. I've had no problems with it. You simply drag that exported video into the GoPro VR player and you have a fully functioning 360 video that you can scroll around, explore, um, do whatever you want with it. You're pretty much done. Except for one thing. Since you have this video, you'd probably want to post it but it's not ready for posting yet because we have to do one thing. So open up Premiere. I'm really happy with Premiere. They've been doing a great job at keeping updates on the VR workflow. As you can see, you can enable the preview monitor for VR video. Click that wrench and hit enable. And then you're able to scroll around just as you would in that GoPro VR player. So we're gonna hit export. Don't worry how it looks weird in the preview monitor it'll work out as long as you hit video is VR so scroll down to the bottom in settings and make sure that is clicked on video is VR since this is shot with the Kodak you're keeping at you're gonna keep it at monoscopic I like to keep the target bitrate around um, 50 to 70 depending on how high quality the video is for this case I kept it really low at 14 so don't worry about that. I would usually bump it up a little bit. And that'll give you, from my experience, the ideal quality um, to file size ratio. So now we're ready to hit export on that. 
bring it up in your finder. Open up the GoPro VR player to check your work. And now we're ready for YouTube. So open up YouTube. We'll go to, I'll show you a sample video. The upload process is exactly the same. And as long as you did that right, it'll auto detect that it's a 360 video. And this is what it'll look like once you upload it. A fully scrubbable 360 video um, that plays in 4K once it loads properly on YouTube. You can put it on YouTube, Facebook, or Vimeo. And now you have a fully immersive 360 video to share with the world. I'm excited to see where the future of VR is headed. And be sure to check back in with VR The Future for more videos and tutorials and virtual tours. My name is Mike from VR The Future, signing off.